And tonight we are back in the kitchen doing yeah. a little cooking, going to talk about the weekend. What else, hon? Does that seem like it? Hi. <laughs> Wally's here. And you'll Hi. notice out yeah, Biggie's here too. So whole gang's in the house. Yep. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay, so are you muted right now? No, I'm not. It's putting sound in the sound in the kitchen. And there's big the dog. Chaos is ensuing. It's Wednesday night. We've already opened the uh, mud pie yesterday. Yeah, mud pie cabernet. We're gonna start with that. Well, the comment section lets us know if you can hear us. Yes, you can throw up the uh, cooking cam. Looks like we've got Christy hanging out in comments. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, Chrissy. Let me get the Leo, 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 Leo. Oh my goodness. Looks like mom's on here. We had a great weekend. We're going to talk about the trip to Omaha. So thanks for joining. You can kick in some of the things. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. Hey, Wally, can can folks hear us? Yeah, can you hear the can loud child? Can you hear the loud child? Check one, two. Check, check. How is uh, everybody's evening going? Great Wednesday here. I was also Leo, Leo, Leo. I was also going to do a uh, weather camp. Oh, look at that. That is that is some meatloaf. Yeah. So we're doing another Radish Kids because it's Leo, snowing Leo. out in April. We are doing cozy classics. So we're making a classic meatloaf. Um, I modified the recipe to use ground turkey, but it's basically one egg, half of an onion grated, um, two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley, parsley, a cup of breadcrumbs, half a teaspoon garlic powder, one tablespoon Worcestershire, a half a cup of milk, a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, and then a fourth a cup of ketchup into the meat mixture. Form that into our loaf and then covered it with another fourth a cup of ketchup with two tablespoons of brown sugar. So I'm going to pop this in the oven for 55 minutes. We're gonna have delicious meatloaf tonight. And I independently confirmed and right as that time, Chrissy said, I assume good, she can hear us. That is excellent. So thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh my gosh, <laughs> baby. The dog wants to go outside. <laughs> Honey, you can take over while the uh, oh dog gets let outside to yeah, so we are making like a three course cozy dinner tonight. So I've got meatloaf that just went in and then I'm going to, while we're streaming, work on a broccoli cheddar soup. That sounds it. really, really good. And I'm gonna make a coffee crumb cake. What? Yeah, I'm really excited about dinner tonight. Perfect for a snowy night in April. Another snowy night in April. Yeah, I'm not, not digging the snow. Honey, you forgot something on your walk back over to the cooking area. Here's the last pour. Cheers. Cheers. Yep. Need some wine on a snowy night, Nebo. Yeah. So Chris would like to know if she can uh, come over for right? dinner. <laughs> right. No. Join the crazy party. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> We're excited about it. Like, the cookie cake. I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. No, we haven't, actually. It's probably really loud with me doing the dishes. Yeah, but probably is. I gotta wash the dishes. I'm like... Can't you meet, honey? I can. Help the people out. I don't know what how you all feel about, like, when you're in the kitchen. But I have to, like, clean while I'm prepping. Like I may clean, you clean, clean while, you while prep, I prep because I hate pile up till the end. Oh my gosh, I hate when you have like a really good meal and you're like so relaxed and your stomach's full. And you got a little bit of wine left in your glass. And you gotta go clean. And then you gotta go clean up the kitchen. So I just like the kitchen to be like done and clean, so I can then go like sit on the sofa, enjoy the rest of my wine, just relax. Yeah. Let me take this moment, this pause in action to uh, remind everyone to go see, uh, go visit theliveplace.com. Um, Dean hosts us over there um, on theliveplace.com. He does great work. 
uh, listing all the family friendly streamers. So uh, thanks to Dean and, and everyone else. I know there's some folks that start before us and lead into our show. And then there's some folks that come after us after our show. And you can find all of that fun and games there. And, and apparently she's hosting the Model Mouse Club tomorrow or next week? Next. Next week. week. Hope it's next week. I'm pretty sure it's next week. Pretty sure it's next. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Mouse Club will be uh, over here on our channel yeah, next week. For the so next we'll, round, we will remind you. Yes, I just loaded it up on our calendar. It is next week. That's so good because I'm not prepared for tomorrow. Your, uh, set your calendars for the 29th Thursday, the 29th. Uh, oh my gosh! How are you going to do that? Five o'clock. Uh, five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock mountain. Uh, 7 o'clock Eastern. Eastern, convert to your favorite time zone. I'm the, the only early bird on that. Everybody else is East Coast time. Yeah, they're all ready to go to bed. I'm just the one hanging out. Here, all Biggie, you got, Biggie you got to come over here too. Biggie, cooking. come say hi. Here. You never say here, hi Biggie. when we're live. Come here. Come here, Biggie. Come here. She's like, do you have any meatloaf? Right here. I'll come over Here's for Biggie. meatloaf. Here's Biggie. She's all wet because it's snowing oh, out. Snowing. You yeah. can have some meatloaf later, yeah. sweetie. Although you did get a cheeseburger, I think. Wait, she got a cheeseburger? We, we always do the BOGO Happy Meals. Yeah, if you don't know that, McDonald's, download the app. You get buy They're one, get free. one Happy Meal. So, so we get one for the kid, one, one for, for the dog. dog. Yeah. Biggie has a good life. All right, I'm going to start on this coffee crumb cake. Okay. I'm hoping it has the same. Okay, so we have we have a double oven in our house. I never cook anything in the other oven. I'm always like, I hope the cooking temperature is the same. Yeah. Even though we have two ovens. Fire up the other one because I don't know if I really want. All right, we're going to bust out the double oven. Cookie tonight. crumble smell in my. It's not cookie crumble. What is coffee it? cake. Coffee crumble. It's like your favorite thing ever. I love it. From, even have a, you have not had a coffee cake in a long time. In a long okay. time. Okay. You going? You want me to go back on cooking cam? Or? Three fifty. First three seven. I'm going to bust out the second oven, and I'm going to remember to take the pizza stone take out. Take pizza stone out of that thing stinks. Get that baby fired up. So yeah, this last. Let's see. Yeah, this last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> we were in Omaha, Nebraska. Great city of Omaha. Flew home for the first time to see my parents since August of 2019. Well, seen, technically, the we haven't been to the we Midwest. Been, yeah, since before he was born. Yeah, I think it was before Wally. I mean, was I born. guess technically you've been like, you've been maybe on one of your like allergy doctor trips. Uh, probably. Yeah, that was Minneapolis. But I had so. not been across the Colorado Nebraska border. Since before he was born. Nope. So, yeah, we just got back on uh, Sunday morning from, from visiting my parents. Have not seen them since August 2019. Uh, it was a fun trip. It was very it was good. Fun. It was a whirlwind. Whirlwind trip, very quick, in on Friday afternoon, out on Sunday morning, first thing, so Wally could make soccer. Um, but it was really like, I guess it was Friday. I mean, kind of Friday afternoon. It was almost evening. Yeah, it was Friday. By the time afternoon. we like, got yeah. there. And yeah. Um, really nice to go in and, and, and see mom and dad. And we uh, actually did a trip to the Omaha Zoo. That was awesome. Second best zoo in the country. Yeah. According to Irene's research. and, and Highly, really highly suggest a visit. So, forthcoming visit. vlog, we're giving you uh, previews, verbal previews of what's coming up. Um, if we have a, took a lot of video. It's going to take a long time <laughs> to edit that video. It will take a long time to edit that video. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's so much going yeah, on. Yeah, fun, fun to see both of them. Uh, they got their vaccine uh, a couple months ago. Um, Irene got her full vaccination stream uh, about a month ago. And as you all know, first shot was done. Uh, two weeks had passed, hopped on the plane, flew home. Second shot is tomorrow. There, no, not oh, it is tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, it's, honey, that's really loud. I'm yeah. sorry. That's really loud. All right. Tomorrow is your second shot. Yes. So, so, two weeks from tomorrow, you'll be fully, as immune as you can fully be, fully activated, activated as, as Wally, Wally calls it. 
So mm -hmm. excited. Uh, yeah, excited, Chrissy. Very, yeah. You know, very much so. We're excited we got that trip in. Um, we were like a little uncertain because of the like forecast. We figured yeah, like winter conf we figured like a mid-April flight was pretty safe bet, but then when they were predicting snow, I was like, well, hopefully it's not like a blizzard. But we were good. Yeah. We got in. It was kind of a chilly weekend in Omaha. I mean, it mm -hmm. wasn't like it wasn't sunny. It wasn't cold, but it wasn't nice. It was like overcast, mm -hmm. chilly, windy. Um, but it was fine at the zoo. We did most of the indoor exhibits the first mm -hmm. like half of the day. And then the second half of the day, um, Mark and Wally and I did a full loop of the zoo. Um, it is a massive zoo. Yeah. I feel like it's like, I mean, it's as big as a Disney park. I think so, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, yep. maybe not like the attraction space, but like the walking space you would mm -hmm. do in like Magic Kingdom. Yep. Oh, easily. Or Hollywood Kingdom, Studios. Yeah. Yep. Definitely not Epcot size. Yeah. Not Epcot size. Yeah. And I would say it's like as big as Animal Kingdom, but not like land wise. Like there's no like safari Giant there. Safari, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was amazing. It's actually the number two zoo in the United States. So definitely worth a visit. Um, I think Stay the, tuned for our fourth the one thing blog. that like always blows our mind about going home is just how cheap everything is. Yeah. Like, like the zoo tickets were low, low cost. Yeah, I guess low cost. comparatively That's to cheap. like Colorado or Disney prices, the Midwest is very inexpensive. Like our zoo tickets were, I think it was like twenty, twenty dollars, like twenty one dollars for us, nineteen for seniors, and Wally's was nine bucks. Yeah, which is less than our zoo. Yeah, was to out go here. see an aquarium. Yeah, they have a. Full, full aquarium. aquarium with an under underwater tube. It's it's comparable to the Denver Aquarium. Yeah, but you're paying um, admission to the Denver Aquarium. Right, and then they have a desert paying dome. Mission. So it's like this huge. Like they have desert. all the different deserts um, from around the world, mm -hmm. like climate, vegetation, animals, um, and then down below it's like all the nocturnal stuff. So they have like full Bats. like caves and. They have like the bayou with all the alligators oh, in yeah, it. Oh yeah, the bayou with the alligators out. Oh, freaky. It's really, oh, really, gosh. yeah. I've never been so um, scared in my life. Oh, and then they have the rainforest, which is what we grew up with. Yes. And the aquarium was there when we were little. I asked. See, I don't. I don't remember that. Um, so obviously, it must have been a upcharge or something. I think and... that why we don't remember it is because we've done Disney so often mm -hmm. that I think that's what we like think of as the aquarium and it's very similar because they have that room in the aquarium where you walk like it's full all around you and like the sharks are swimming up mm -hmm. over top and stuff and that's what they have in the seas in disney world too so i think that we've just done the seas so much that we forget about the omaha zoo yeah um, I, I have no memories of that but maybe, it's a very impressive aquarium been to that aquarium before. and then they have the rainforest so they have like a full like it's a full indoor rainforest. full indoor rainforest yep. so it's got again 100%. like the, the like humid climate the vegetation um they have a rope bridge so that was like a rite of passage that wally had to do because we did that growing up so it was really fun to see him run across the rope bridge yep. um and then you can eat in the rainforest they have a an, restaurant. A restaurant that looks out over the rainforest, and you can see the um, what are those monkeys called? Oh my gosh, I cannot think of what they're called. But you can watch like the monkeys swinging from the trees while you eat lunch. So it's really cool. Wally, go show people. You're, you're on the screen. Go show, show people over here. Show them over there. Oh, they're up. You there. made a zombie they're on the there. floor. We have these like little skeleton stir sticks for drinks that we never use for drinks, but Wally uses them a lot. Yeah. Like no head. Put the glow cube on for his head. Oh, glow cube head. There you go. Whoa. There you go. It went for his butt, like bullet head. Oh, okay. That would do. That's scary. Um. So yeah. So that's just in the front of the zoo, and then the like outdoor exhibits are massive. Mm -hmm. So um, it took us like two hours to yep. walk the rest Let's of the zoo, the and we. We didn't like didn't do stop excessively, no. a whole lot. Um, 
but we've like yeah. visited all the different areas. So they have like a whole African savanna, and mm-hmm. they have like a, a Tusker uh, restaurant. So it feels very similar to like Animal Kingdom yeah. with like Tusker House and um, well, the music. Really, and... What really won me over there in that walk was the sea lion area. Yeah, but that was like way on the other side. So we're going through the zoo. So first you have like oh, the African sorry, safari area. Ahead. And it's really cool because yeah. you like, they didn't have a lot of things running right now, I think just because of the season. I don't necessarily think it was because of COVID. I think it was more so just because like yeah. it's springtime in the Midwest. Um, but they have, they have like, you can feed the giraffes, which is super, super cool. We didn't get to do that. So I want to go back and do that. And then they have a whole sky safari. So it's like a chairlift that takes you across the lake all the animal exhibits that was not sadly not running um but yeah they have the elephants and the giraffes and, and train yeah train and they have like a full train like a full train like oh, our denver you, zoo is like pacific steamer train yeah it's really cool but that yeah. was not running either so we have to go back and do that which yep. we will at some point um so yeah so that's like the like african safari area and then they have like a whole i think they have a butterfly pavilion too that wasn't open they have yes, like a whole butterfly open. pavilion in there too. Yep. Um, that was another indoor exhibit at the front yep. that we didn't do because it wasn't open. And then they have like a whole like garden walk area. I was surprised the jungle was open just given uh, yeah. you know mammals and their propensity to take COVID as well. I would have True. expected I didn't think the about monkeys that. to have full separation, but I didn't think about that. Apparently, yeah. they determined that they're far enough away that right. the air and when they the only had the top open, they didn't have down below open. And I don't know if that was floor. because of construction or COVID or I don't know. I'm guessing exactly probably COVID, why. I um, guess. But yeah, super impressive. And then you then you continue on. Um, they have the big bridge, and I remember that from when I was little. There's like this huge covered bridge, and there's like hundreds of koi fish. Like hundreds, not just not giant They're koi fish. They're huge. They've been fed. To yeah, the and you can like pay a quarter and get the little pellets, and then like throw them out to the yeah. koi fish. And Wally loves that. And so does um, everyone else. Yeah, and so do the fish. It's fun. And then there's also geese in there that like fight with the fish to get the food. Which Those is, fish are violent. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that, and then then they have the new stingray. Um, stingray beach which they moved indoors which is super cool so while i love that of course i had to go in and feed the stingrays and pet mm-hmm. the stingrays i love that and what was cool um, about that we'll show it on the video is uh, unlike the denver zoo stingray food where it's just little tiny pieces of the it fish it was like a full it fish. was a full-on like minnow with its eyes still intact okay, what is it? oh my goodness Get that. it's what like what a christmas done. tree do you think we have enough glow cubes i don't think we have enough glow cubes i realize this is like covering up my mic Hopefully that wasn't like totally muted. Okay. No one has said anything. So, um, yeah. So the stingrays, and then what else they have? They have like the whole Pacific Northwest for their sea lions, which That's is what really I was cool. To tell you earlier. Um, so very well themed. Very well themed. I mean, it felt like mm-hmm. you were walking into Oregon or or Washington State mm-hmm. and and seeing sea lions in their natural habitat. Yep. Um. I've never seen that in any other, yeah, I've never ju- seen you know, any beautiful. other sea lion enclosure I've um, seen before. So that was okay. Christy says, "All good." I heard everything. Well, that's yeah. good to know. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I totally Christy. have this like covered up." Um, and then they have a whole Alaskan village as well that has um, a whole like Alaskan outdoor like splash pad mm-hmm. area, and then the carousels also over there, and really like awesome food options that was like probably our biggest complaint when we were there is the food options were super limited because they were um, shut down normally they have a much wider variety of food um but because of covid that's very limited right now and i also just think it's not the busy season yet for that zoo so yeah. i think it's like a double effect of like kind of things they put in place because of covid but also yeah. because it's like still spring and not yeah, full like the whole asian area where it's had like pot stickers and oh so yeah forth. i forgot about that yeah. they had like the whole it was like yeti camp and it was, it was like, like yeti camp um yeah. like eastern asia like they had the tigers the uh snow leopards mm-hmm. and, and it was beautiful like it felt it felt like again animal kingdom mm-hmm. um when you're over there by Mount Everest and like they yeah, had, the, yeah, the, 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 like the, the temples. Spirit, spirit flags and, hanging down. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and then the Alaska area. 
and then basically you wrap back around up the hill. Mm -hmm. They also have like a whole cool outdoor kids like ropes course play area that looked super fun. That was not open. Um, so there's a lot there that we didn't get to do that we're excited to go back and do. Um, but it actually was fine because we got to do everything that was yeah. open on yeah. this trip. If everything had been open, I think we would have needed a second day yeah. for the zoo. Um, and we were there for eight hours. So it is like you could do two days at the mm -hmm. zoo easily, yeah. easily. Yeah. Um, if you want to do every minute thing and see every show. And yeah. And then right there by the zoo is also their botanical gardens. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's like a staircase you can go all the way up and they have um, the big train. So can, you talk can, about that yeah. while I start on. You start on that. So yeah, so right next to the botanical gardens, uh, you can go see Kenfick Park, which is, is the name they've assigned to it. It's actually uh, where one of Union Pacific's big boys has ended up, uh, 4023, I believe, is what's there. Um, and then 6900, their, their giant centennial diesel locomotive. And obviously uh, Union Pacific's from Omaha, Nebraska. So they, they paid for the installation of, <laughs> of all these things. And, and usually you see them on I-80, you're driving into town. There's these giant locomotives sitting up on the, on the bluff. Uh, but you can actually walk up to them. And um, other than you know when we saw the big boy up in Alt, Colorado, that is the closest I've ever been to any uh, giant locomotive. Um, and you can get pretty much oh, it's a you good know, zombie. right to here touching them, um, which is really cool. Yeah. So we have some fun video uh, of that. Wally's showing off his zombie. Oh. Wally, let, me, let me put Wally back on the screen. There. All right, Wally, you're on the screen, buddy. Show him what's going on. What'd you add to it? Yeah, it, it's on the screen. You've got to go show them. got to show them. Where's my um, Tell us ah! mixers? Well, honey, now you're blocking. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where's my mixers? Over there against the, the wall. Okay. All right, I'll move. There you go, Wally. Show him. Yeah, he's back to his burger. So. Okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah, really, really cool area, all within five minutes of downtown Omaha. Um, also in that uh, in that area, uh, used to be, so if you're, if you're familiar with it, that, that used to be, and I don't know if it's still there, I didn't, I didn't see it. There used to be a their old baseball stadium there. I don't think it is there anymore because they built a new TD Ameritrade field that's closer to downtown, closer to the CenturyLink Center, um, and and is, is just uh, a really cool no, area of town to just go visit um, everything. So, um, and Chrissy, Chrissy, Wally, Wally, Chrissy says she loves it. She loves your... She loves it. She loves it. Oh, I got to start on the soup. I, I forgot. I'm show it to her. <laughs> He's dancing. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, and, and it's no charge to go up and see the trains. You just park. Um, I gave a great tutorial on where to park because um, actually I looked out there and there are not many vlogs uh, dedicated to this topic. So no. uh, a bunch of a bunch of train nerds but no, no family folks. So, um, so we're going to kind of do our little family bent on, uh, on, that, on, that, uh, on that park. But it's really cool. Free to park. Um, walk up the hill. Yeah, it was Wally loved it. Yeah, he loved seeing the seeing the. And, and I was surprised there was a constant stream of people while we were there. It yeah, was like it was five busy. Yeah, at night on a, on a, it was you know cold. On a it wasn't Saturday, warm. On a Saturday yeah. night. Um, there there were couples coming up for a picture. And, yeah, uh, it's a really great spot. Yeah, and it's free. It's, it's right free. there. Um, you know, dads and their sons, grandpas and their sons. Definitely sons. like a great photo spot too. Yeah, great photo spot to see the uh, the uh, Missouri Bluffs. Um, I didn't even look out and see if like any of the uh, casino ships were there. <laughs> what? That's in the same vicinity. Hey, MVP. What's up? Welcome in. Um, let's see, the snow right now has stopped. Hey, bud, what's up? How do you, how do you like the snow? Yeah, the, the snow right now in Fort Collins has stopped. Uh, it has been lightly snowing all day, but it's been 32 degrees, so it has been melting as soon as it hits any surface. So right now we have no snow uh, of accumulation. What's up, bud? Okay, I'm out of here. 
<laughs> what are you showing them, Bubby? Wally is showing the strength and muscle. He is he's building muscle mass. Oh, my here. goodness. Where's my carrot? Um, are, you guys, are you guys having a lot of snow, uh, down, a lot of snow down south? Down, yep, down in Broomfield. Still getting it. So, my goodness. Yeah, I think it was actually sunny uh, while snowing earlier. So yeah, it's I think very our, strange. Our clouds might be a little thinner um, up here. This is actually fairly common in Fort Collins that, that you guys down south will be getting a lot getting more. snow, and, and we up here will be. Oh, uh, Wally, what are you doing there, buddy? Uh uh. No, no. Stop. Give me that. <laughs> okay, we'll use this for our soup hey, later. Hey, Mom! We'll use it for our soup later. No, no. Trying to... <laughs> you're trying to work out? Well, buddy, your workout stuff's in the workout room. This is yeah, the go, kitchen. Yeah, go work out in the workout room. You could go work out in the workout room. You could get in a quick workout before dinner. Have a lot oh, of so it's snowing there. over on the uh, west side of town, Chrissy. Okay, so obviously on the east side of town, we're not getting it. That's the other thing that's weird about Fort Collins. We'll get totally different weather patterns depending yeah, on the side of town, side of town you're on. Yep. Yeah, that happens a lot. Chrissy's a lot closer to the foothills, so she is a lot closer to the foothills, which is weird because so yeah, she's only was... like ten minutes away from us. But. <laughs> 10 minutes means the world and it does when you're near the mountains it's very strange yeah so that basically uh wraps up our trip to omaha we had two great uh dining locations we uh, ate at yeah, lead oh belly um, that was really good lead really belly good. was awesome yeah really good food right by our hotel they had like um, awesome burgers like really awesome burgers sandwiches and like this is my qualification for a good like a good like burger joint, like deli, you're just like a good restaurant. Do you know what it is? Pickles? Well, pickles is one. They have to have good pickles and they had really good pickles there. But it's my favorite side. If it has this on the menu, I give it two thumbs up. I can't remember what side you got. I had two sides. You did have two sides. One was chips and queso. One was chips and queso and their chips and queso was really, really good. Cottage cheese. Oh yeah, that's right. If they have cottage yeah. cheese on the menu, in my book, it's already a win. Good Midwest So I had to get cottage, cottage cheese, cheese and I had to get chips and queso. Yeah. Not disappointed by either. Yeah. They were both very good. Um, so yeah, that was a win. Lead Belly was awesome. Uh, and then the other place we went to was Upstream Brewing Company. And so that was right, in right downtown. Um, what's it called? Old Market. Yep. I get it very confused because we have Old Town. It's Old Market. But this is Old Market, which is a very iconic part of Omaha. Yep. Um, they have the brick, brick streets. Brick streets. So if you're in Omaha, like you have to do Old Market. It's like pretty much mandatory. Yeah. Um, well worth the visit. Awesome part of town. Lots of good restaurants, bakeries, shops. So that was that was really good too. Yeah. You got a steak. I we're steak. like, we're, we're in Omaha. We're in Omaha. They had, gotta have they had steak. an Omaha steak on the right? menu. Um, See? We've got cottage cheese fans in the house. Yep. Perfect. Cottage cheese like that, like, there's a restaurant here cottage in town cheese. that I want to go back to because I have cottage cheese as yep. a side. And it just, like, just makes me happy. You know, I've, I've realized, like, the older I get, I have started looking for that on the menu. And if a place mm. has cottage cheese, I'm much more inclined to mm. want to go there. Or if I have chips and queso. And this had both. This said both. And you got both. I did get both. <laughs> That's the only problem with it having both. I have to get both. But um, the brewery was really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Wally had homemade uh, root beer. Yeah, they had homemade root beer. It was really yummy, yep. like creamy, vanilla y root beer. That was really good. And you got a local cider. They didn't make it, but it was another it was local good. It was Nebraska. Really good. It was a ginger. It was like, no, that was what I got the first night. It was like a pineapple ginger slider. Oh, you got that at the... Uh, I don't remember. Bell. This was like... What was that one? I know, I was You'll have to watch it. our video. I'm sure we can I'll have to watch it. our video because I can't remember what I got. Um, but you got a steak. Mm -hmm. And I got like really yummy, creamy. They had gluten-free fettuccine. And so then I got their pasta. And I had like corn and andouille sausage and yeah. blackened chicken. It was really good. Yeah. And then I also got a side salad with their blue cheese dressing. 
And that is their blue cheese Again, blue another cheese thing I can't dressing resist. And blue, blue cheese, cheese crumbles. Blue cheese, the, the waitress pickles, was like, pies, I brought you the cakes. dressing and the crumbles. And <laughs> she's like, I didn't put either of them on though because I didn't want you to feel I like it was feel overwhelmed. Like you needed too much. And Irene took both of them and I went, just proceeded. To Boom. <laughs> So now you know my weaknesses. Blue cheese. Yeah. Cottage cheese. Queso. And pickles. It was your cheat weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, it was for sure. For sure. It was really, really good. Though. Back to the grind. And then we found the coolest spot down there. You want to talk about that? Yeah, the After candy dinner. store. But what, what was it? It was name? like it Hollywood. Was Hollywood candy? Hollywood candy. Yeah. yeah. It was a, a, a candy store in the old market. Candy um, and antique store. Candy and antiques. And, and that's the key because you go in and, you know, up front, all this candy. I mean, there's a ton. Every kind of candy you would ever want. I mean, I, never, I did not know they made so many different derivations of Mike and Ike. Yeah, that was cool. um, Until I walked in. He got, in like, all red. Story. He, it, literally, it's a box of all red Mike and Ikes. But it's, like, strawberry, cherry, yeah, strawberry. watermelon. I don't even know. There's, like, yeah. a lot of yeah. whatever other red flavors you can have. Yeah. And, uh, and then you keep going in and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, they have the fun little candy wall where you can pick up little, like all the different, like penny candies, penny candies, like, tootsie rolls, tootsie rolls, six slits, like really unique stuff too. Yeah. And then like all the little like knickknacky candies that come in like different little containers and, um, <laughs> then go. I think we will get along really well. Right. Right. I'm just like, these are the major food groups. Yes. Cottage cheese, queso. Blue cheese and pickles. We were trying to come up with an idea for a collaboration. That yeah. might be it. Ooh. That might be it. A we could do like a we could do like pickles cheese too. Tasting. But we could do like because not a, all cottage a, cheese is created equal. No. It's not. An antipasti. I don't know. We could do collab. We should do a foodie collab. That'd a be so fun. Collab. We've been talking yeah. about like doing something like that like yeah. a foodie challenge i don't know we're totally down let us know like yeah. we're totally down that would be so that'd fun be a good idea that'd be so fun yeah we we're like we're foodies too but i think we're like foodies rooted in like midwest flavor palette mm -hmm. but there's really few things i don't like and they're like very specific like i don't like capers i don't like pine nuts I won't eat eel, but I'll eat calamari. I don't do oysters because it's gross, but I like mussels. I was going to say you like mussels, yeah. Um, yeah, there's like very few things yeah. I won't eat. I have weird food allergies that limits things that I can eat, but there's not really anything I discriminate against when it comes to eating. And you... Really, you're picky. I can't. I'm picky. Well, I can't you're, eat a lot. He's very skeptical of like vegetables. <laughs> it's like you'll eat like any kind of meat besides fish. You won't do any no seafood. Fish, no seafood. But you do like crab. Mm -hmm. You sort of enjoy salmon. You'll do it sometimes. And I, I did swordfish. You really like swordfish. I really like swordfish. So yeah. you're like just very particular. Yeah. Can't um, do any cheeses. So you're on your own on that camp. Well, unless it's goat's cheese. Unless it's goat cheese. And you do enjoy good, good yes, goat's cheese. Yes, good goat's cheese. Yeah. So yeah, send me a uh, send me a reminder on Facebook. Yes. Ooh, caviar. Um, that might be another one I can't do. Something about eating fish eggs just like weirds me out. I don't know. Yeah. You definitely wouldn't do caviar. No, I'm not going anywhere near that. I I'll eat, I'll eat roe. I'll eat roe and sushi. I do like sushi a lot, but I won't do eel because... I like I do not like things that don't have legs. So like eels, snakes. I mean fish kind of fall in that camp, but I'll eat fish. I just don't want to like swim with fish. <laughs> a very a very strange very strange rule. And you were accusing me of being the strange one. You're like skeptical <laughs> of vegetables I'm though. Skeptical. Like a vegetable comes out of the ground and you eat it. Like yeah. it was never alive. What, what it was never have like. I've been skeptical of. You're always like, if it's anything new, you're always like, can There's you eat this? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I can put the whole thing in my mouth. The, the whole thing, and I'm like, yes, Mark, it's fine. He's skeptical of vegetables. Yeah. 
But back to the. Uh, Ooh, I would not swim with sharks. In a cage. No. In a cage. I'm not going to get you. Well, I've seen. You would swim with sharks in a cage? I don't swim, so no. You wouldn't either. No. I won't even touch the stingrays. Wally loves it. And I'm all for him. Like I'm going to support him. I'll watch. I but I don't want to touch them myself. We are very supportive parents. Supportive, but maybe not hands-on when it comes to touching no. stingrays. stingrays. Or what, what was that at the uh, – have we posted the video about going to Butterfly Garden yet? No. I'm hoping to so, edit that tonight and get that up. I was actually was amazed like, that you did that. That I, yeah, I'm amazed I went in the Butterfly too. <laughs> I'm very amazed that you the, went to the, the butterfly, Denver plate. butterfly Pavilion. But that does not prove how much you love our Almost son. Nothing triggered will. a heart attack within me. You do not like bugs. I, I don't like things flying at me. Oh my gosh! And that that place almost did it. I I almost. Uh, you went, don't like crawly things, like all the things in cages things, were yeah. totally like I could just tell you were like I on was, edge. Yeah. But 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 they but, have the touchy feely zone, and Wally was feeling. Horseshoe crabs? Horseshoe crabs, yeah. Right? Right? They're the, the blue, ones with the blue blood, the which blue that blood? was really interesting. That was really like, interesting. Blue blood is, and like, it's been a huge contributor. To in, COVID vaccines. Yeah, COVID vaccines. Yeah. So you'll have to watch our video. It looks like MVP has hopefully been to Butterfly Pavilion. Because it, it tests it. the toxicity. Yeah. Tex, tex, tests like, the toxicity of yeah. the vaccine. Ooh, so. I love artichokes. I think we need to do a charcuterie collab. Charcuterie. That's the word I was looking for. That would I'm be fun. We should do a charcuterie collab. Yeah. Okay. But also we could just meet up at like 50,000 different restaurants in the area too. I'd be down for that. Yeah. yeah. We're always like on the quest for a new restaurant. Yep. I've got a bunch on my list that we're hoping to check off in the next couple of weeks when we're like doing various city adventures um big spees folly and wine is one that we're gonna do this next week and tamayo it's like a mexican restaurant but it has an amazing like upstairs patio um i want to do marco's coal-fired coal -fired pizza again mm -hmm. and what's the other one there's another one that's on my list it's another pizza place. Camp Pizza? Camp Pizza? It has like an amazing outdoor area. Yeah. So that one's on the list too. Those are like three on the top of my list. But I just joined the Denver Foodies group on Facebook. And let me just say that group is ruthless. They like hold nothing back. <laughs> when people ask questions, they're like very willing to give very honest opinions on what yeah. they think of, of what people are asking or sharing. But I just kind of silently observe yes. and see what's and now recommended. With the new Facebook groups, you can slip in and not even get noticed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We could do like a yeah. whole Denver restaurant tour. It's Denver restaurant week. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like we could maybe even drive down on a week night. Mm -hmm. And do some dinners. So back to our Omaha recap. Mm, mm -hmm. Since you're on the foodie direction, and you sorry, gotta, you got to get making some soup back. I'm there. like, you want to work on that? Yes, I'm working I'll, on. It. I'll load you up. You're solo. Add to broccoli. Okay. I don't know about this broccoli cheddar soup business. I'm oh. solo. You're solo. Well, you're the one that's gonna be talking. You're just gonna be a disembodied voice. This may be loud. I might have to mute. Can you even see that? No. Here, I'll no. move it over here. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm just grating my carrot. And so then I gotta do my broccoli and garlic and onion. There, I'll go with both of us. You can grate the carrot. And... By the way, I'm a great sous chef. You fill the wine. I fill the wine. You keep I... the conversation yes. flowing. I, normally you're like do the dishes too. I, yeah, normally in the situation. So, but when uh, we're but in terms entertaining of main, on the internet, the main chef that is not me until we get to grilling. Is that really loud and obnoxious? I don't know. Let me know. If it's... Let us know if that's loud and obnoxious. I'm almost again done. still testing out these new mics. Last time, I mean, it sounded amazing last time. 
when I listened earlier, it sounded amazing. So it did a great job with being able to move around the kitchen and I don't know. We're like, we're kind of really enjoying this format of doing live streams from the kitchen. I'm like cooking dinner. At least we, we just get, chat. At least I'm just we get dinner done. Sort of. I'm hour. just like always really distracted. That's my like. I get really distracted about talking, and then I get behind on my cooking. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, I think it's a is it an ASMR type thing? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it annoying? <laughs> no, it's an ASMR type thing. So it's like this this noise that's in the background. It's very I'm soothing. Like, I hate grating things. <laughs> I'm always convinced I'm gonna like grate off half my finger. I I will grate off my finger if I do it. <laughs> yeah. So back to the uh, Omaha trip, the candy store. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So get past the first layer of candy, and you have a room of Pez. I am not kidding you. Actually, it was kind of two rooms of Pez. It was yeah, there was like a plate. whole Pez wall of fame. It like... wasn't a wall. It was like a tunnel of Pez. Yeah, it was awesome. Because obviously they don't want you stealing all these like uh, vintage. vintage Pez dispensers. Sorry. I'm washing things. Can't you turn it off? I could, but then I'd have to turn it back on and it just seems like a cork. Chrissy, uh, Chrissy's cooking too. And then let us know she grated her finger once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's scary. Graders so are scary. scary. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there was an entire room of Pez. So uh, we found a bunch of Pez for Wally that that we wanted. We found some Pez for swaps. Yes. Yeah, he got he got a Mater Pez. A Mater Pez. A Dusty from Plains. Yeah. And what was the other one that we got out? Oh, Pikachu. A Pikachu Pez. It was like so fun. Yeah. So... Just, just amazing stuff. And then you continue in and obviously you have old Coke signs and well and again like the pricing on stuff was really reasonable. Yeah, I can't even I can't remember what the I think it was like thirty five bucks is what we spent and we like spent a total of and we got, bucks. We got three pezes. four. No, we got four pezes. Four, four pezes, yeah. Because we got one for a swap. Yep. And we did like a whole bunch of like loose like the loose candy, like the I mean, the pens were like three ninety nine each. Does that sound? It was not bad. Yeah, it was and um, very affordable. And we got like some full boxes of candy, and they had a whole like like um, case of candy too, like um, like homemade candies. Oh yeah, like like <laughs> we're having chocolates, like oh homemade gosh, chocolates, it was so, homemade truffles, homemade uh, oh my gosh, so good, so good. Um, you got a, uh, you got a, 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 what was the bar you got? Oh my gosh, it was like a galaxy bar. And so it was melted, 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 melted Milky, Way. Milky Ways. And then it was like coated in like white chocolate and like pink and purple swirls. And then like all the fancy sprinkles. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. Yeah. It was delicious. And I didn't share it with anybody. Nope. Well, I can have it, but. It was so good. I want to make it though. Like, it was such a cute idea. It was so yeah. pretty and it was delicious. The galaxy bar. So good. So, yeah, that was my special little treat. And then they also had like all kinds of antiques, old movie props, um, tons of like old arcade games and like old, like, like what would you call those? Like mall rides. You know, like the penny, like, yeah, like the penny ride rides. in the yep. cars and yep. carousels. And they, and they had, had an entire arcade yes. uh, closed due to COVID. Mm. I don't want to be touching and sanitizing a lot of these devices. Um, I was, like, interested that you couldn't take any photography. Yeah, they had a big sign on, like, no, so no videoing in the arcade. Um, Even, like, pictures. Yeah, you know, we videoed at the entrance to the arcade, and you could kind of see in a little bit, uh, but we never entered the area where it said no videoing. Um, and then, um, then they had a. I whole... you're getting a suggestion on not to put your finger on top of the knife to cut the veggies. Yeah, well, just <laughs> avert your eyes. I promise I won't cut myself. <laughs> She's really good at cutting. I, on the other hand, am not. Um, but yeah, a really cool place. And then they had a soda fountain, an old fashioned soda yes, fountain. Yes, that was front. so cool. It is the soda fountain, not at the original site, but the original fountain that Warren Buffett used to go when he was a kid. And they and you could get malts yep. and shakes and like 
um, fashion soda. sundaes with like butterscotch and like marshmallow yep. fluff. I was like really sad that we had just eaten and then we had dessert. We like, well, we didn't have dessert, but I mean, we bought candy and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we were just really full and we were on a little bit of a time crunch because it was getting late and we were flying out early the next morning. So, um, by the way, I don't know if we mentioned it on the video, but we'll, we'll mention it here. Uh, I think most airlines have returned to full capacity. Oh, yeah, that was Southwest was definitely at full capacity. The plane on the way there. 100% the full. 100% full. No and seats. they served drinks. And they served and a snacks. limited beverage selection. So you've got to pick from three beverages Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, and water. Um, but still. But still, I mean, that's a drink selection and, and snack packs. So folks are getting getting back into uh, getting back in action. Yeah, it was just, it was like, I mean, it was nice. And especially traveling with a four-year-old, like, it made it so much easier. But it just was strange, you know, like. Have a full plane. Yeah, just like being back. Full plane of people taking their masks off. And... Well, yeah, and I mean, that's the thing is, like, people were being really good about wearing masks. But obviously, like, they weren't, like, policing it because they were serving drinks and food. So, yeah. you know, really, it was like. You could take uh, free it off, for all, yeah. Be actively drinking and put it back on. Yeah, I gotta put my onion goggles on. Yep. Question: uh, Have we ever been to Japango? And I, I don't think so. Oh. I don't think we've ever been to no. Japango. Is that in Broomfield or kind of in that direction? I'm pointing south. This is south when we're in this configuration, mm. and when we're upstairs too, when we have the Mickey background. This is south. Japango, we've not been there. Is it sushi? Is it like Japanese? What's the sushi? Well, you like sushi den in Denver. Yeah, sushi den's kind of always been our go to. Like, I have a friend that, a um, friend from college that we would go there all the time. Sushi restaurant in Boulder. Okay, we're down. Oh, on, on Pearl. Pearl. Okay. We need to do Boulder again. We haven't really, yeah. we've done Lafayette a lot lately. Um, this and, is our dream. Thanks for uh, hopping in. Yeah. Good to see you. We need to do another Boulder trip. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm down for that. We love Pearl Street, too. Mm -hmm. There's so many good spots on oh, Pearl sorry, Street. you're cut off. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to put on my protective gear. Onion goggles. To cut my onions. In. She's uh, going in. What do we... So, yeah, that was a candy shop. Uh, we talked about flying back cut to full onion. capacity. I mean, you know, everyone vaccinated. I had at least one shot. Um, okay. So... Yeah. Yes, buddy. What's up? I know that's so scary down there. It's good thing. Good thing mommy's staying safe. I know. Did I? I probably stepped on. Yeah, his legs have been beat up a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. So, um, very, very nice doing, trip to this? Omaha. Great to see you, mom and dad. Um, and you know, really, mom. really enjoyable, Wally. Uh, has been talking about seeing you guys Oops. ever since. So it was, it was oh, just good. It's, it's good to kind of get back to a little bit of normal, see family, I see mean, people you haven't seen in a while. Again, everybody's safe. Everybody's been vaccinated. Um, so, you know, we have to. You know, yeah, you know, we might get a little cold or sniffle. We even fight a little bit of COVID in the process, but at least we know we're safe. Um, I'm not going to uh, well, be... And it was just good to travel again and kind mm -hmm. of wrap our minds around it because we're going to Orlando. And, and that was one of the main reasons we decided to do this trip was... Well, I think, first of all, to see your parents. That yes. was like reason number one. Reason because number it's one. Been and way too long. Really when we could fit it into our schedule with your work schedule coming up. And well, it was like the only time we could fit it up with work and when prices weren't through the roof because that is something to keep in mind. If you want to go to Omaha... Um, don't go in June. Don't go in June during. Uh, it's going to uh, be crazy expensive holidays. and busy. Um, what are you doing, Wally? He's, he's got his monster truck truck carrier out. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it was like it was the most affordable time that worked with our schedules. Ideally, we would have gone after you had your second shot, but. The but timing just didn't. Your timing for that, and it just really wouldn't work out. I work in K twelve, so yep, this so part of the year the gets a little year, dicey. Hectic. Yep, a little crazy. End of the year hectic time, and then maybe June would have worked, but why not go now? 
I mean, no, no problems. I was two weeks out for my first shot. CDC yeah, it worked said out. That. It's so funny. We booked the flight, and then the next morning, the CDC press release came out that said, hey, you're on the two-step plan. After the first shot, you're 80% good. And, and for me, 80% is passing. 80% 80 gets, 80 gets degrees. So uh, we, were, we were good. That, that just solidified it in my mind that, that, that we were good. Yep, um, so we made it happen. And it was a good test. It was a good um, day because Omaha's like, it's an hour. It's an hour and a half flight. I mean, it's not an hour. And, and it's an hour and a half flight. From gate to 25 gate. 25 minutes of that is taxing at Denver International. Yeah. Airport. It's like from the time you start backing up from the gate to the yeah. time you're you ever starting the deboarding Denver, process. It takes forever to mm -hmm. taxi the, the runways. Yes, it does. Oh, no. Oh, no, buddy. Wally, we don't have a Wally cam tonight. I always underestimate time with cooking. I thought I was doing so good. I got my meatloaf like in the oven. But yeah, it was it was nice to it was nice to see how an, an entire flight would be because from here to Orlando, um, on the best day from here to Orlando is a you know four hour flight. Maybe you can get there in three forty five. Um, I don't know how it moved, but a whole bunch of monster trucks. Oh my goodness, Wally. You're so, he's such a loud child. He's a loud child. Biggie's a loud dog. This is a loud family. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe it's the Italian in him. I don't know. That's what we had last night for dinner. What? Did have Italian was my, uh, my grandpa's Italian meatballs. Mama Tan's meatballs. We were really, yeah. really good. Stay tuned for that vlog. Yeah, so you know, we really were wanting to see, okay, what's the flight like? What's going to be like? You know, what do we need to know and, and so forth? And, and it really provided a lot of comfort of, you know, yep, we can go. It's not scary. It's not any problem. I mean, you know, you want. I mean, if if, if you're fearing getting sick, you want to be vaccinated because social distancing does not exist. The train at DIA is full. We cannot social distance in that situation. Um, yeah. People do not understand social distancing. If a line has not been drawn for them on the floor, they have no idea what six feet is, and that has <laughs> proven time and time again. Well, and Southwest still has and you Southwest still lining has up. There's stanchions. So, yeah, I mean, there's really no social Where distancing you get into in the a airport. Line and you're neck and neck with someone. I mean, I mean we've been at we've, Wally, hey, hey. You're too loud, hey, buddy. buddy. Daddy are trying to tell a story and friends can't hear us. Yeah. Buddy. Um, so you're standing, you know, at those poles in Southwest. Oh, yeah. and, you it's know, like previously, sometimes you couldn't okay. fit in those spaces. So obviously, you know, you got to just go into it accepting social distancing does not exist. It's off the table. Um, and you need to be comfortable with that uh, knowledge before you, before you travel. Um, but beyond that, I mean, you know, it, it felt like a normal flight. Doing. They're in my way, though. No, uh, no adult beverages on Southwest. Very limited beverage selection, but I know we yeah. were gonna get mimosas. <laughs> Beyond that, uh, I that, slept that the whole way home. A though. Three and a half hour flight, very long, or a four and a half hour. Well, you know, by July, who knows? Yeah. Oh, water. Wally, oh my gosh. All right, honey, you want to give us an update on what you're doing? Um, yeah. So I'm getting ready to do. The broccoli cheddar soup. So melting down four-ish tablespoons of butter. I tend to use whatever we kind of have left for our stick butter. So I think it's one of five tablespoons, but okay, you, know, it? you can't really ever have too much butter. Um, so then I'm going to saute up my onions and my garlic with a little bit of salt. And then I'll start to add in our carrots, shredded carrot, um, two crowns of broccoli and our broth and let that cook down and then we'll start to add the um, cheese and the cream which we'll see how this turns out because mark can have dairy so i'm not doing cream i'm just gonna do oat milk i don't know we'll see how that turns out that might not be <laughs> i do have heavy cream but if i put heavy cream in then mark would not be able to enjoy the soup so we'll, uh, we'll see how it does with oat milk. I could also do almond milk, but 
Oh, oat milk's just creamier. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna go with that. So now I'm gonna add in my onion, garlic, and salt. Um, let this kind of cook up. I should have done this a little bit earlier, but I was chatting too much. That's okay. That's cool down a little bit. It's gonna be done. Ooh, in three minutes. Oh my goodness. And then I'll have to get my coffee cake going here too. But once this is cooking, I'll be able to do that. So teaspoon of salt, one onion, and one clove of garlic going in. So oh, you guys no, have had us do this in the past. We're doing one of our, uh, what are these meals called? Let's um, radish kids. Yeah, we're doing one of our radish kids. Box. So ideally Wally would be helping me with this, but um, because he's pretty young, I tend to have him help me Pour with stuff in um, the, dessert the dessert more. Yep. He likes to stir things and... Um, and my like my personal philosophy, even though Wally like may he you know he had a happy meal, he's probably not gonna eat much of this food. Um, but my philosophy with cooking with kids is that if they see you eating home cooked meals, cooking in the kitchen, if they have the opportunity to try things, like it's giving them that exposure it's kind of setting that standard and then when they get older you know they're gonna want home cooked meals and they're gonna want to try different things um okay. i was definitely like a cheese pizza grilled cheese kid growing up but my mom always cooked really yummy meals you know and sometimes i'd eat them like when she made chicken enchiladas sometimes i wouldn't but now i love to cook and i cook so much and that's because I grew up in a home where my mom was cooking. We always had yummy food. So it kind of set that precedent. So that's why I really like Reddish Kids. And we talked about this last time. But honestly, all of their recipes are so good. They're so good. So yeah, they're, They are really good. And really easy to modify. They're, they're easy to modify. And they have modifications online. Um, yeah, so and they're you just, they're delicious. Yourself, you're not used to doing it yourself. Yeah. It'll actually do a great job of teaching you how to start to Well, and it teaches food. you different culinary skills that, like, even for me, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I didn't know, like, what. So, like, this month, um, it's got, like, all about broccoli. It talks about blending soups. Um, it talks about baking with butter and, like, kind of how that works and, like, why you would do it cold or softened or melted. It talks about different breakfast breads, uh, dry measuring skills. And let's see what we got on meatloaf, food safety. And, oh, this is cool. A meatloaf matrix, that's really cool. So it talks about like, um, try different, trying different ingredients or swapping things. That's cool. Um, teaches you about like different like kinds of food. So this is obviously like very much an American meal. So it's like different American meals of food. Um, that looks pretty good, but I'm gonna let it go. Just another couple minutes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really I value the skills that come with it. I'm trying to remember what our tool was this month. It came with this. Um, oh, who's this guy? I think. Was I think. I think. I don't know. I don't remember. I could have been the spatula. Yeah. Wally is. Uh, Wally is four. Yeah. He is four. Could you guess? <laughs> I, oh, buddy, I need to drive the show. What was the um? What was the tool that came with this? I integrate it so quickly, I don't know. I don't remember. They didn't send a knife with, did they? Usually it's like in the things that you use. Maybe it was a spatula? Gosh, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Sometimes we do integrate it so fast. It, you know what it was, it's this one. 
Oh, okay. It's this one. Actually. Yeah, that makes sense because they show it in like a bunch of the pictures. Yeah. Right. Sometimes I forget. Okay, I gotta like get back to my suit. Gotta do that. Anything else, hun, before we wrap up? Because no, we are at that time. I know. It goes fast. That that explains how you know how loud he is then. <laughs> He's the same age as your nephew. Yeah. Yeah, Chrissy, you want to sign up for this? I I think Irene put I put I think I put it on this video. Our yeah, there should code. be a link to it. It gives you twenty dollars off. I think you have to do a six month subscription, and that's what we're on is the six month, but I honestly wish we would have done the year. We've been doing it for a year and a half now. And no! every month we love it. Yep. Okay. So I think if you sign up, I could be wrong. But I think if you signed up like today, um, you'd get the spring picnic. Yeah. You should get this one for April, spring picnic. Um, and it has pimento cheese dip, southern biscuit sandwiches, and strawberry cupcakes. So we're actually, I think we're going to try and do this for Biggie's birthday because her birthday is on May 1st. And so assuming it's not snowing, the plan is to do a spring picnic with the dog for her birthday. And we might also go to Big Al's. <laughs> so I was thinking like, we should go to the Big Al's burger and hot dog spot. That's like perfect for a dog's yeah. birthday. So yeah, I think if you sign up, you'll get spring picnic. Basically, if you sign up before the end of the month, that should be the one that you get. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us tonight. We greatly appreciate it. Before you head out, hit that like button to let YouTube know that you like what we do over here. Uh, it helps us out. It helps, helps them to know you like Ooh, that you. looks delicious. Uh, if you're new here on the replay, hit that subscribe button. You want to follow along with us, catch some of these vlogs that we have coming. We've given you... Oh, hang on. Yummy oh, meatloaf. It looks really, really good. Yeah, yeah. It smells really good. Too. Again, might... thanks to uh, Dean at the Live Place. Head on over to thelifeplace.com to check out what's coming up. Uh, what's coming up next? Um, I can't. I can never remember what comes on <laughs> after us. We're always eating and trying to finish up our food at that time. Um, but I think there's a cruise show, a family cruise show, and then I know at ten o'clock, uh, maybe is late night trivia. Griswold, family vacay. I think that's late night trivia after that. So sometimes it's hard to keep up with all the things. It is so hard. And that's why the live place is actually really cool. It is. Uh, yeah. Because if you happen to forget what's going on or if you're just sitting around bored at home, I know I've done that a couple times. Like, eh, who's live right now? Let me go. That's what I like about it. Let me go and see who's on. It's meant to be like a TV guide Yep. for just that. Like, yep. you know, I don't have anything going on tonight. Like I'm caught up on all my shows. Who's live right now? Yeah. Great way to find new yep. friends. Monarch Moments is on at seven. So yeah, okay. So go. they're they I know they alternate weeks um, at times. So yeah, they're uh, they're going. So head on over there to Monarch Moments. So thank you all. Yes. Just getting ready to put my bra this, in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wonderful world of Walter, which he's not on any of our cameras. He's down he's, here. He's the whole kitchen is covered in monster trucks right now. So that's where we're at. I'll be drinking some more wine. Yeah. And we love you just the way you are. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Have a great Oh, you want to say goodbye? Hurry oh, up. Bye. There he is. <laughs> Have a great night, everyone. Anyone say bye?